I'm Jyoti Nukula from Amazon Web Services. Today, I'm going to guide you through creating a model using Amazon SageMaker and importing it to AWS DeepLens. AWS DeepLens is a fully programmable video camera that comes with tutorials, code, and pre-trained models that are designed to expand your deep learning skills. In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up a SageMaker notebook instance, import and configure an external notebook in SageMaker, and then import the SageMaker model you created into AWS DeepLens. You will need an AWS DeepLens device in order to complete this tutorial. You can order now on Amazon.com. In the first step, let's enter into the Amazon SageMaker console. Open the AWS Management Console in a new browser so you can keep this step-by-step -step guide open. When the screen loads, enter your username and password to get started. Then type SageMaker in the search bar and select Amazon SageMaker to open the console. Next, let's set up a notebook instance. Launch an Amazon SageMaker notebook by selecting Create Notebook Instance. Provide your notebook a name, for example, Hot Dog Detection. Let the notebook instance type remain ml.t2.medium. Select Create a new role. And in the Create an IAM role pop-up, choose any S3 bucket. And select Create role. Back on the Create Notebook Instance screen, Select the IAM role that you just created. And then select Create Notebook Instance. The other values for VPC and KMS are not necessary for the simple tutorial, but should be used when you are using a real private data. Return to Amazon SageMaker console and wait for the notebook status to turn from pending to in service. It takes a couple of minutes for the notebook instance to be created. Once your notebook instance is created, you will see the status as in service. Choose open. And you will log in into the Jupyter home screen. In this step, you will work within the Jupyter notebook, import a model from GitHub, link it to an S3 bucket and run some cells. Once the Jupyter Notebook is open, select New and then Terminal to open a new terminal to retrieve the Tutorial Notebook. You will use the Tutorial Notebook to do a custom model. Now, you will retrieve the notebook from the Git repository. In the terminal, change to SageMaker directory by entering cd SageMaker. Next, we will clone the repository from GitHub by entering the command git clone and the link. You should see a message in your terminal with a done message. Return to the Jupyter home screen and navigate to the notebook by selecting the reInvent 2017 DeepLens Workshop folder. In the folders, navigate to the Lab Session 3 folder and select the notebook named DeepLens Hot Dog or Not Hot Dog Notebook. To write its output, the model needs an S3 bucket. So let's create a bucket. You can access the S3 console by visiting AWS Management Console and in the search bar typing S3. Select Create Bucket. Name the bucket with the DeepLens SageMaker prefix to allow AWS DeepLens and Amazon SageMaker to access you can also append the prefix with your name for uniqueness. Under Region, select US East, North Virginia to align with the notebook region and select Create in the bottom left corner. Next, go back to your Jupyter Notebook page and scroll down the notebook cells to the cell with the S3 bucket name and assign the name of the S3 bucket you just created. To import the model to AWS DeepLens, visit the AWS DeepLens console. Choose Models and click on Import Models. 
choose externally trained model and provide the S3 path. The S3 path is the bucket that you just created. Provide a name for the model and choose import model. To verify the model import, navigate to the models page. The newly created model should appear in the list of available models. The model is now ready to be included in a project and deployed to your device. Congratulations! You have created your first model using Amazon SageMaker and imported it to AWS DeepLens. You can now include this in a project alongside an AWS Lambda function and deploy it to your DeepLens device for local inference. Thank you for watching.